It's 9.32, and it's this point on Wednesday mornings for, for many years now, we have presented Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, where Bruce and his uh, 50 years of experience in the area and in the law help us uh, unravel some of these legal mysteries that confound us. Now, largely submitted by you, I'll tell you how to submit a question for future consideration if you would like to, coming up in just a moment. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Just fine. How are you and yours? We're doing very well, thank you. Good, good. Everybody starting to recover from the storm anyway? Yes, we are. Yeah, it's a long road ahead and it's daunting at times, but we'll make it. We sure will. We're at Fort Myers, Charlotte County strong. So there you we'll go. Get through it. I keep seeing S S W F L strong everywhere. Southwest Florida strong. I I really like that message, don't you? I do. All right. Well, let's see if you can help out with another thorny legal issue. Somebody submitted a question here that needs your consideration. Are you ready? I'm ready, Todd. Okay. It, it says the following: My nephew and one of his friends were crossing the street in the crosswalk when the pedestrian light in his favor, or with the pedestrian light in his favor, I should say, when he was struck by a vehicle headed the same direction, making a right-hand turn. The drives, the driver struck my nephew, sending him to the hospital with a broken leg and other injuries requiring surgery. The driver's insurance claims he had a green light and it was not his fault. My brother has five children. His wife is disabled they can't afford the hospital bills, not to mention the physical therapy his nephew will soon need. My brother doesn't know what to do and is afraid to call a lawyer because he doesn't have the money to pay legal fees. Can you ask your lawyer friend what my brother should do? Very common question, at least that part about contacting an attorney. Uh, what do you make of this situation? Well, the first thing that person should do is contact the personal injury lawyer with a lot of experience. Um, and he should know that you never have to take money out of your pocket to pay a personal injury lawyer. You only have to pay if the lawyer is successful in making a recovery for his client. In regards to the facts of this case, there, there's one thing that um, if you play bridge, it would say it trumps everything else. <laughs> okay. And, and that is when you walk in a crosswalk with the pedestrian signal in your favor, mm -hmm. you have the right of way. So even though the car making a right turn had a green signal, he still has to yield to anyone in the crosswalk. Oh. Oh, that's so, right. So the person in the crosswalk had the right of way. The car, even though he had a green light, violated his right of way by making a right hand turn and striking him while he was walking in the crosswalk with the light, the crosswalk light in his favor. I see. I always make it a policy if I see somebody in the crosswalk, I don't care whether they have the light with them or the light against them. Stay clear, because uh, pedestrians and crosswalks get hit far too often. I agree. I'm very, very careful when I see a pedestrian. So it sounds like he has a good chance of recovery here. Well, it's it's just up to the amount of insurance, because uh -huh. he was in the right, and the um, car driver was in the wrong, and um, they should be required to pay for all his medical bills his lost wages, and his pain and suffering. And that's the key thing here because it says uh, uh, the physical therapy is a concern and he has a disabled wife that he's a provider for. So the lost wages is something that he really needs to focus on recovering. Yeah, the lost wages and the medical bills, I mean, it, it, it's all going to be daunting. It adds up yeah. so quickly. And let's reiterate again, by seeking the advice of a legal professional, it's not going to cost you a dime. And if they accept your case, there's no payment necessary unless there's a recovery. That's 100% true.
So that, that should give a big sigh of relief to this family because I know they're scared about this situation, but they needn't be if they seek some help right away. That's usually the advice, right? That is the advice. It's, it, as soon as an untoward act occurs and, and you're the victim, you should call an experienced personal injury lawyer and get their advice. All right, Bruce. Well, we appreciate your time all these Wednesday mornings, and thank you so much for shedding some light on this situation. Look forward to sharing uh, another question with you next Wednesday. My pleasure, Todd. Looking forward to it as well. All right. You take care. Say hi to everybody now. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up again for Bruce Elshiner, attorney for the injured. Now, if you have a question, you can submit that on our website. You just simply type the keyword Bruce in the search box. It'll take you to where you need to go. Or even better, especially in a situation like this where there's so much of a concern about lost wages and a disabled wife and, and providing, please get a hold of the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner directly. 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9. This is Dathan.